Hey guys, I'm Goran from Airsoft Military News Blog. I'm here with Chris at the stand of Enola Gay. Uh, this is their first time on IWA, and I think you'll like their products because if the movies like them, you'll like them too. Please. Absolutely. Uh, we make colored smoke grenades over here for airsoft, paintball, uh, movies, photography. Uh, we have four different products lines, uh, product lines over here. Uh, our most popular is our WP-40, wire pull smoke grenades, about 90 seconds of smoke, um, low output, but then we also have a 25 second burst smoke grenade that dispenses the smoke from both ends of the unit. This is a new product, right? Uh, it's been on the market for a little bit, but it's uh, but expanding over here in, uh -huh. in, in Europe, so very good for creating quick cover if you need that. Okay, so um, not no slow burning like... Exactly. This would be a this very quick excellent. burst of smoke. Okay. So, um, then you, if you need a little bit more smoke, we have our EG-18 over here. Um, all of them are wire pull ignited. Um, this puts out about three times as much smoke as the smaller units, uh, but still in about 90 seconds. Um, we have our newest product over here on the market, our EG-18X. Um, same size as the EG-18, but this dispenses the same, same amount of smoke in about 45 seconds. Okay. So just a super high output smoke, very good for cover. Okay. Um, uh, if, if you're more in the military side, we have a military and law enforcement only smoke grenade available uh, with a fly-off spoon. Mm -hmm. But again, this is only available for military and law enforcement uh, so in no Europe at this time. So no retail sales to civilians? No retail sales right now. The product is not C-approved yet. Also, if you're looking to carry this smoke somehow, you don't want to just stick them in your pocket. You want to have something like the uh, EG-18 pouch where you can actually carry the smoke. You can also deploy the smoke from underneath, pull it down, it will catch your there. cap. And with a little bit of skill, you can hook it in a hook, pull it and operate it with one that's hand. That's what I wanted to ask, what yeah. to hook for? Yeah, so that's actually where you can hook the ring, pull it and operate it with one hand. Okay, so, excellent, um, excellent pouch. Yeah, so EG-18 pouch holds obviously just one smoke grenade. Um, for the burst and the WP-40, we have our deuce pouch. All of them have a either belt clip or molly attachment in the back also. Excellent. We also do make our flash grenade and our thunder flash. Uh -huh. uh, thunder flash is just a distraction noise maker. Okay. Um, also, the flash grenade will produce a little bit of a flash, a white flash Actual over there flash, also. Yeah. yeah. Um, both of them are going through C regulation uh, right now and okay. also okay. through uh, BAM approvals right now. I, I, I thought I remember grenades from you guys. Yes, we also have our BB. Yes, we also do have our BB and paint grenades over here. We don't have a uh, just a sample over here, but both of them we are actually working on converting them into a wire pull ignition. Also, currently oh, that, they, that was yeah. a striker striker ignition. That is correct. Huh? Both of them come as a striker cap right now. So, um, so does this one, the flash grenade. One. That is correct. That is okay. correct. That's also also comes in as a strike cap right now, but we're looking to convert it over into a wire pull ignition too. That which would is, be that would be great because yeah. this wire pull is just. Absolutely. It's something, the feel about Absolutely. pulling something and then throwing it, it makes it more realistic. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a you know, lot, lot safer, but also a lot more user friendly.